Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and recap from last week's episode. We actually had a uh, well so-called codfish on the previous episode. So I kind of feel like that codfish was kind of bad. So this time we're trying the real codfish. The special ingredient that we have today is this is known as an Atlantic cod fillet, also known in the scientific name of Gardus mohua. Well then, let's create a dish. Alright people, the special ingredient that we have today is this. Atlantic cod fillet, also known as Gardus mohua. Well then, story time. According to legends, this fish is like everywhere around the European seas and then for thousands and thousands and thousands of years European fishers has actually catch this fish as if it's nobody's business. That's why in England, their national dish, the fish and chips, is most likely using cod or haddock, that's all. But as much as technology has advanced and this fish has been caught like over and over and over again, the population has declined and the size also has become small. It is said that during those days, cod is like really 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 big size and now the cod is pretty much this size. Well, you can call this a green brown cod right here. But this cod actually comes in different different kinds of colors. Some comes in like reddish color, some is like green, some is like brown and some is like black. Well then, now let's take a look at the fish, shall we? Alright, so the cod is actually distinguishable through its, well, its face but when we buy a cod fillet as itself, we don't really get to see the whiskers on the head so it's fine but the cod fillet is actually distinguishable by the white line around here which is called the lateral line Wow, I can feel some scales around the cod I thought it's going to be like a scaleless cod but turns out that it has some sort of tin tin like scales around here but I have no intention of using the skin later on so it doesn't really matter whether the scales are here or not Alright, now let's take a look at the meat Okay, it's pure white meat I can feel some bones on this side I can say the meat looks really really nice and good It's actually a really really nice firm meat I can see this There's a lot of pin bones around here so I'm going to have to do some butchering work with this. Now that we actually had a closer look of the cod already, I'm going to announce that I'm going to make three different dishes with this cod. Because this whole cod is like 700 grams, this whole cod can actually be used to make three portions. So the first dish I'm going to make is going to be the traditional dish. It's called the British Fish and Chips. The second one, I'm going to marinate the fish with orange, salt, pepper and olive oil. And then I'll bake it and serve it together with some roasted honey butter pumpkin. And the third dish, well let's just say I'm going to make it a, well basically it's a parmesan crusted cheese with mozzarella toppings. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to remove the skin. I'm going to use my knife to take out the skin. I think the skin is actually edible but I really have no intention of using the skin in a fish and chips dish or maybe a big fish. Alright. Okay, I messed the skin. Some of the skins can actually be ripped off like this, turn out, turns out, alright? It's actually possible to rip off the skin. Okay, nice. So the skinning is done. I'm not going to use this skin, so I'm going to throw it away. Next, the pin bone part. Let's see. I'm just going to have to pull the pin bones out myself. Let's see, how does it work like? Well, it's hard. Wow, this pin bone is really really hard. Okay, screw that. I'm not gonna peel off the pin bone one by one. So I'm just going to use like this. I'm just going to remove the belly part like this. Next, I'm going to portion the fish. So around this should do, this one should do. Right, portioning of the fish is done. So right now, I'm going to start by making my orange juice seasoning. The first ingredient, obviously, is orange. 
So, start with some orange zest. I have really, really no idea how is this going to turn out like. A squeeze of orange juice, olive oil, salt, black pepper. Well, just going to mix this and I'm going to marinate my cod here. Well, marination is done. This cod will be marinated in the fridge for about 3 hours. Next, I'm going to have my fish and chips. Here, the seasoning is quite simple. Salt and pepper, that's all. Just sprinkle each side with salt and pepper. Next, I'm going to start making my beer batter. So, the first thing I'm going to put is some plain flour. Cornstarch, white pepper, salt, baking powder, and I'll mix it just around like this. And here I have a seasoned flour. But before I mix the beer inside here, first I'm going to reserve a little bit flour here. I'm going to use any beer I can find. And today's beer is going to be thing, the green one. Well then, okay. let's see. Around this much should do. Okay, beer batter is done. So now I'm going to leave this to rest for about, I say, 30 minutes, and then the beer batter should be ready for frying. Next, I have a pumpkin here. I'm just going to roast it later. That's all. I'm going to extract the pumpkin seeds out. I have some butter here. I'm going to shove this in the microwave to let it melt. Next, some honey. Next, parsley. And here you go. Honey butter marination for my roasted pumpkin is complete. Just place the pumpkins on a tray. Some marination on top. Okay, that's it. And I'll just pop this not into the oven, but into a toaster. And then the roasted pumpkin will be done. Next, I'm going to make my parmesan crusted fish. Let's see. First, parsley. Next, plain flour. Parmesan cheese. And at last, breadcrumbs. So I just mix this. Well, next we'll start with the basic breading. One whole egg. Here comes the typical breading, flour, egg wash, and here we go, breadcrumbs. Okay, another one done. I'm going to put some cooking oil into a really really hot pan. Then in goes my cod. Flipping this. Now the cod is like cooked on the outside but it's raw on the inside. But that's just what I want because I'm going to put some cheese on top of it and then I'm going to bake it. So here we go. Fresh mozzarella. Okay, here comes the cheese. Okay, all of this goes into the oven. I only need the cheese to melt and after the cheese melts, everything should be perfectly cooked. I'm just going to add a little bit gratin here. Alright, this thing here is ready for the plating. First dish, ready. Now, I'm going to start making my fish and chips. Flour, beer batter, that's it. Here we go. Into the beer batter. And into the fryer. This part is a little bit thick, so I'm just going to leave here a little bit longer. Here we go. Also a bit here. Here we go, done. So all I have to do right now is to wait for the fish to float and the fried beer batter fish is ready. Okay, this is a fantastic color. So 
I think the fish is actually ready right now and I'm going to leave it on the paper towel to actually drain off excess oil. While waiting, I'm going to be frying some fries. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, and here we have it. Cod. Pouring the rest of the marinade in. Alright, cod is done. Okay, cooking well done. Lesson learned the hard way, never cook too much dishes, but oh well. And here I have it, the British Fish and Chips, Parmesan crusted cod with mozzarella toppings, and my orange marination fish. The one that I want to try first is going to be the fish and chips. Well, let's see what it tastes like. This is my homemade tartar sauce and if you want to know how to make this tartar sauce, I'll put a link in the description below. You can actually go there and take a look at it. So, mmm, mmm, sour and nice. First thing I got to do, squeeze some lemon. Okay. I mean, it's, everything is already soft. But never mind, let's take a look. Mmm. It's quite good. It's juicy and the flakes are very large. Overall, I can say that the fish is quite good. Let's give another bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is good. It's not really fishy. No fishy flavor at all. This fish is very nice, soft and moist. As a matter of fact, the truth is, although I put a lemon on it, I don't feel it's actually necessary. Alright, moving on. The next dish I want to try is this Parmesan Herb Crusted. Let's see what this tastes like. Okay. Barra is supposed to be crispy and nice, but because I left it out in the open air too long, it became a little bit soft. But overall, it's not a bad fish. I should have seasoned the fish even more. Oh, well, try imagining pizza, but you're having fish pizza. I can say that the fish is really, really moist. Alright, moving on. <sighs> Let's see what this tastes like. I want to try some roasted pumpkin first. Mm. Wow! The honey butter pumpkin tastes really, really good. But that's not the star of the dish. The star of the dish is the cod. Wow, look. At the cord, if it breaks into two pieces, I don't even really need to use my knife to break it. Let's see what happens when I take a piece of orange and put it on top of it. This is really good. Perfect. I mean, overall the combination, I mean the juiciness of the cord combined with some orange and an aftertaste of a pumpkin. Wow, seriously. This one is really good. And a pumpkin seed is just for show. This one has a wow factor in this. Let's see. Let's give this another shot. Wow. This one's really nice. Man. Well, and here you have it. The three dishes that I actually made with using one fillet of cod. Three dishes of this fish is a little bit too much for me to handle. So I'm just going to give this away to my parents or something like that. I'm gonna end my review now while I finish this dish. <laughs> well, I'm done eating. Whew, that was such a tough meal. On today's episode, we actually had Atlantic cod, the real Atlantic cod. 
So, we actually made three dishes with this fish. The first one I want to make a remark is about the Parmesan crusted fish. I mean, well, it needs to be seasoned a little bit more. I really thought that the Parmesan saltiness would be able to cover up and make the fish a little bit much more nicer. But, oh well. And honestly speaking, I really did not expect the pan-fried orange juice seasoning fish to be the best among all three. I thought it's going to be the worst. <laughs> but it's quite nice, surprisingly to me. As for the fish and chips, hmm, well, I guess it tastes like a typical fish and chips where the taste mostly comes out from the texture and the sauce. If you ask me, three dishes, all of it has its own advantage and disadvantages. I think the best one would be the orange juice seasoning and then the fish and chips and then the parmesan crusted fish. Well, that's the overall conclusion of the Atlantic Cod. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment or subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.